have you ever gone to the hairdressers, been so excited about a new hairstyle you found on Pinterest, got home, looked in the mirror and cried? Because I know I have. <laughs> Look, I'm her number one client. She tells everyone that. And then you have to live with this hairstyle for two months, three months, knowing that it doesn't look right on you, knowing that you hate it. Well, hopefully, if you watch this video, you won't be getting that again. Today, I'm going to go through the hairstyles for each of the body types, so let's just get into it. My name is Ellie Jean, I'm a personal stylist, and on this channel, we use body types to level up our personal style and end the war with our wardrobes. If you're new to this whole thing, there are 10 body types based on this idea of yin to yang balance, theorized by a man called David Kibbe, and yang is sharp, narrow, and long, and yin is soft, rounded, little, and delicate. Let's start with dramatics. Dramatics look best in two kinds of hairstyles. The first is long and sleek, straight hair. Because dramatics look best in long styles, which echo their sharp, narrow, and long frame, this is what kind of hairstyles they look best in. They also can look good in blunt and very straight and sharp fringes, like Taylor Swift, and they can also look great in really blunt, sharp, straight bobs. Again, like Taylor Swift or like Michelle Dockery. You'll often get some dramatics in pixie cuts as well. This can be really cute as long as they have some kind of maybe gamine essence and their face isn't too harsh. But because their facial bones are quite strong and sharp, they can take this really short and sharp haircut as well because this echoes the sharpness in their frame. Even though the hair isn't long, it's short, so it does conflict a little bit, which is gonna make them look a little bit harsher. It's still gonna look quite good. Flamboyant naturals look best in unruly wild hair. So flamboyant naturals have wide and blunt shoulders and angular, blunt, long limbs. So this is the kind of styles they look best in. So if you think of Carrie in Sex of the City, she has this really wild hair, but you kind of don't feel like it's wild and crazy on her. It just looks very elegant and chic. And this is a great sign of a flamboyant naturals. Same for Julia Roberts in Pretty Women. She starts off with this short blunt wig, which looks slightly restrictive on her, but as soon as she gets rid of that and she lets her real natural wild hair free, she seems more elegant and more chic. So this is a good sign of a flamboyant natural. And if a flamboyant natural were to have short hair like Princess Diana, they'd have it much thicker and fuller and slightly longer than you would in a very short pixie cut like a flamboyant gamine. Soft naturals look amazing. I have this very specific haircut that I think looks amazing on every soft natural I meet. And it's a sort of rounded, layered, sort of long bob. Looks so good because it echoes the bluntness in your frame with all these layers, adding width and dimension to the hair. But it's also rounded and soft and delicate. So with a few waves, it can look really amazing. Of course, there are a few ways to do hair for each of these body types, but you know, this is kind of like the perfect haircut for you. Soft naturals also look really great with curtain bangs, I think, because it's kind of this, this blunt sort of look, like the bluntness in your bones, but it's also rounded. And I always think that looks really cool. There have been a few famous soft naturals with pixie cuts, but you'll notice that these pixie cuts make them look slightly more masculine, and that's because they have these rounded features and wide features as well. So these two combined aren't really the perfect combination for a short blunt pixie cut, but if you wanted to look maybe slightly more androgynous, slightly more edgy, that could be a cool look for you if you're a soft natural. Dramatic classics look really great in moderate length, so not too short, not too long, but they can lean slightly, yeah, basically just in the middle. Straight-ish sort of hair, very set, nothing too wild and unruly because even, you know, a hair out of place is so obvious on a classic, myself included. <laughs> um, second I put my hair in a ponytail and I have baby hairs, it doesn't look cute like it did in the early 2020s, the girls with the messy buns. I just always looked an absolute mess and that's because I'm a classic. So dramatic classics, moderate lengths, sort of straight, sleekish sort of hair. Soft classics, similar sort of vibe, moderate length, maybe slightly shorter, with a very soft, delicate curl in, but nothing too little um, and fussy, because that's going to bring out the sharpness in your features. It's just gonna overwhelm you and you're just gonna kind of disappear. So something in the middle, something moderate, something balanced, but quite smooth and quite set. And I wanna say tailored, but that doesn't really work for hair. <laughs> Flamboyant gamines are sort of known 
for their sort of tussled pixie cuts. Gameens in general are known for their pixie cuts, but yeah, flamboyant gameens with a little bit of volume, a little bit of movement in the hair looks really good. If you were gonna go for longer hair, a lot of layers looks really good because it breaks up the look slightly, so keeps it very light around your face. That's what is best for a gameen. Soft gameens, similar sort of idea. So soft gameens look really great in those sort of hairstyles that they had in the 90s, which was sort of flicky outy. You know, sort of thin hair, quite soft, quite wispy, looks so cute because it brings out your pixie-like features. But if you have thicker hair, maybe sort of like a cool little layered bob with some curls in, it's gonna look so cute. Theatric romantic hair is sort of quite long with lots of curls in. It can be not so set, it can be quite relaxed, moderate in size sort of curls, but quite a long length. And romantic hair is pretty much Marilyn Monroe. It's little short hair, tight-ish curls, which are set. So those are pretty much the ideal haircuts for each body type, but you can play with this a lot. Um, you know, it's not a rule. And you know, some people like Zoe Deschanel have created their very own signature hairstyle by completely going away from their line. So having that thick, long hair completely contradicts flamboyant gamine, but it's what she's known for. So, you know, take it all with a pinch of salt. But if you really wanted to bring out your features and really let them shine, each of these hairstyles is gonna work amazingly for you. If you've enjoyed watching this video so far, make sure to have a look at my playlist, which is about kibby body types and make sure to check out my consultations, link in my bio or at bodyandstyle.com. I can tell you your body type, essence and color season and maybe even help you find your personal style. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.